Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining us. It is outstanding to have you. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Wolfie, and we are live once again with Massively Overpowered OP TV. And it is time for some cute and cozy. <laughs> it's farm together, too. And as you can see, I am farming together with the incredible Brianna Bree Royce herself. You, she doesn't need any introduction, especially if you're a regular listener to the Massively Overpowered podcast. But I have Bree with me today. Hello, Bree. Hey, what's up? Oh my gosh. So at least there's going to be some together. We'll see if we get around to the farm part, but definitely together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll have to like kind of like blitz through the tutorial a little bit. But uh, yes, this is, this is uh, a game that I have never played before, either the first or the second. Uh, Bree is an old salt of the first game, right? You've been playing for how long? Like, it's been a while. Oh man, I, I didn't play it from the beginning. I bought it like when most of the DLC were out and the game had kind of been like finished, like, you know what I mean? And so maybe a couple years ago is when I, I bumped into it on Steam sale and I was like, yeah, what, 10 bucks, big deal. And I got completely hooked. Like, I got so hooked, I bought it for my kids, and then we played. I played with my kids. It's, That's it's, awesome. I was I was shocked that it was actually going to be like good. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. So yes, um, I conversely, I I feel like I've seen a game like this or or the first one before. I don't know. It's maybe this one is like kind of blurring together with something else, but like it's uh. Or maybe I'm like confusing it with uh, the that that Facebook farming game, Farmville or whatever, like from a visual standpoint anyway. No, I mean I think that's fair. They all kind of started there. I know it, Facebook Farmville wasn't the first farming game ever, right? Animal Crossing fans and what's the other one that everyone's always throwing back to? Um, see, I don't even remember what it is. I, I didn't have consoles, <laughs> so I didn't grow up on this stuff. But like everybody played Farmville at some point. If you had a Facebook account. You logged into Farmville, and the at problem least with once, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you did it. But the problem with Farmville is that Farmville was not designed to be a good farming game. <laughs> Farmville <laughs> was designed to get all your data on all of your friends, right, and then get you to spend money on microtransactions. The yep. the farming part was like not fun. It never was. It was never about that. So like the last fifteen years, all of these companies have been trying to come up with a way to make farming actually fun and engaging and worth a premium, you know, buy to play type price as opposed to whatever the heck Farmville is doing. Even Farmville is like completely changed on that now. Whatever's left of that, that franchise, aren't they on to like three or four at this point? I have yeah. absolutely not paid attention, but uh, but I also am guilty, like Britannia said, of, uh, of playing Farmville at least a little bit. And I appreciate some of the, uh, some of the, uh, the hook, I guess. <laughs> but you know, Facebook is the problem indeed. I, I agree to average teacup. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, and, and a lot of people have, um, you know, everybody's played Stardew at this point, right? I know there's a sure. social stigma against farming games, but, like, everybody still loves Stardew, and they, they, we really love these cozy social games, but this one is, like, mostly farming. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of those have, like, a lot more stuff to them, and this franchise is, like, really home, homing in on the actual farming content. Although there's multiplayer, too, but it's not quite as social. Yeah, this one, I immediately just... I So I'm doing the tutorial steps right now and plopping down some lettuce. I'm like, goodness, this is so cute. Like, come on, this is so cute. I'm afraid of playing Stardew. Yeah, I appreciate that, Teacup. It can 100% eat your time, for sure. Like, I fired up Stardew one time, and, like, I feel like I didn't really notice what I was doing until, like, maybe a month later. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this this game immediately appeals because of just I I love this aesthetic and like listen to this music, dude. Like, this music is wonderful. I literally had to to turn it all down. There were actually people demanding that they bring back the music from the original game and bring it here too. So really. I I think we were talking about this before the show started. That this. 
farm together two is like it's still in early access so right it's yes. nowhere near finished it's like super polished what's here but compared to the first game it's like like 10 percent of the content it's like not even close so i think that's why people are like really jumping at the bit now like now they can see okay it's in a playable state now we want all of that stuff back so there's you know the complaining has begun yeah yeah and and like that that is something i usually tend to like um Actually, hang on a second. I'm trying to. There we go. Okay. So, so like that's one of the things that always feels unfair about an early access game. That's not what I wanted to do. What? Oh, oh, that that copied the. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I was trying to move the well, but I accidentally like copied and moved some of the stone walk. That was interesting. Huh. Yeah, pretty much everything you can you can move it around if you don't like where it's sitting. I, I, we were talking about this earlier too. Is I, I finally got terraforming in my game, so I can get rid of some of these really annoying like ridges and stuff that make it really hard to. If you just want a big flat map, you can do that, but you have to wait. <laughs> that's so. That's great. Oh, that, I immediately love that. That's I I truly love how you can because I was a little worried with the way this was arranged that I was going to be stuck in this layout, but no, that being allowed oh, to like, no. no, that's good. And the map gets really huge. Like if you hit, I mean, look at the map, all you can see is that little square in the middle. And then you see like, what is it? Eight boxes around it. You can unlock like all of those boxes. And then I'm pretty sure at least in the original game, there were like concentric circles all the way around. Like your map just gets like staggeringly huge. Like it would take you several minutes to walk from one side to the other. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. That's 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 great. So Plus, just we don't really have them yet because you haven't. You, you need to level up. Hurry up, farm boy. Let's go. <laughs> I know. How... When, you, <laughs> when you get there, there's like a tractor. You you have to customize your tractor probably already. I did. Yeah, I I did do the oh. customization. Uh, oh, good. Before we started, so I I made sure my tractor is the appropriate color. <laughs> well, that's very important. Yes. No, but it, it goes faster, and it also really, really helps you farm. It, it just does everything much faster. It plops everything down in, like, chunks of nine, and there's actually an auto tractor mode, which I wish we could sh show you, but it's so much better because it doesn't require you to do any clicking, and I really, really love being able to farm without clicking. I am so lazy. <laughs> Man, I can't believe the person who has a massive production empire in Star Wars Galaxy it says doesn't like clicking and likes automation. Huh. Odd. <laughs> oh, we can harvest these guys. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. And you, you can plant whatever you want. I know the tutorial is probably bossing you around here. It is. It's waiting for... I'm waiting for the lettuce to be harvestable effectively right now. So, But I'm, I'm just trying to get that out of the way. meantime we have trees to pluck and apparently some yeah there you go there's already chickens oops that was not what i wanted to do <laughs> i keep on hitting this you got a plant yay i i keep on hitting the space bar thinking i can jump <laughs> like there's jump, there's no jumping in this game no you're right the jumping is automatic but space bar also performs the same function as clicking so you really can save your finger button Oh, that's good. Your button finger. That's what I meant. Finger. <laughs> so is there a way to undo what I just chopped up here? I assume you had to like. Yeah, if you want to move it, it's Z. If you want to get rid of it, it's X. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. And I just bonk it with a hammer and suddenly grass is back again. <laughs> I love that. It's, it's not really very realistic, honestly, but that's okay. I can't believe it. No, really? Wow. I, I, I demand a simulation out of my cute, adorable farming game. There we go. Lettuce is ready. Well, at least that one was. There we go. This guy's ready to go. Okay, now it's telling me to go to the town. Choosing travel to town. Okay. 
So you said this this is a new feature unique to this second one, right? Yeah, in the in the first game, like the way you would sell your produce, that was like the motif, right? You would set down all of these like uh, building structures. There'd be you know like little shops, but you'd have to put them on your farm, and there were no people, other people. So the whole thing was like really weird. Like you were selling to like a you know <laughs> selling to the void. Yeah, right? <laughs> it was kind of weird. And then, of course, you had to have so many of them. Like, at some point, your farm ends up looking like this gigantic market, and it was not the vibe, like, at all. Plus, if you were doing, like, a theme look, if you had, say, decided to make your whole farm look like it's some sort of lunar um, greenhouse or something, all of the farming stuff still looked like base game, you know, rustic. Uh... And so it didn't match at all. People didn't like that. So here they've just decided to put it all off in, like, a separate zone completely, and I'm hoping it gets expanded a whole lot more. It's really cool. I'm really, I'm really happy with this. It's actually really convenient, and I'm glad it's done in the farm. But it's not customizable yet. Like you can put your, well, when you go to build, you'll see, you'll get, you'll get. I think you build the vegetable one first. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's telling me to like build a find an available property and build a vegetable shop. I just... Right. So you can decide where they go. All those little different shops, and then you upgrade them as you go. That's all really clever, but it still looks like that little seaside town, no matter what. Yeah. So having a little bit of customization would be nice, but that's a uh, that definitely sounds like a lot better than having market stalls cluttering your farmland, especially if you're trying to like specialize or something like that. that makes sense. Right. Plus, plus the NPCs. I mean, there were no NPCs really in the first game, so it's a little weird and lonely and creepy. Like, that is weird. Just, <laughs> right. And when you think about it, now I guess you're supposed to have other players, right? Sure. Not necessarily, but you want that. You want both. Other than like the farm hands, they that just wasn't a thing. So here you've got people walking around, and sometimes they'll give you quests. It's very MMO-like, honestly. <laughs> that does sound kind of MMO grindy a little bit. I I dig it. Yeah. Yeah, I do see somebody with an exclamation mark, but I'm just gonna... Alright, so I've placed down my veggie stand. It's telling me to go back to the farm shop. Back to the farm I go. Seasons change every 17 minutes. They limit what crops you may plant, and trees may give fruit when a specific season starts. Uh, so now it's wanting me to harvest trees when we did that earlier. <laughs> oh, well. oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. That's I literally was like, trees, I can click the trees. <laughs> so... We both did the thing. It's fine. Yeah, I would have been better off not helping. <laughs> oh, really you're good. Fine. Please, no. I, I truly appreciate your help, honestly. I know eventually. I'm not exactly sure on the exact stats, but I know when you go to other people's farms, like you don't just help them. Like you can do their quests and farm for them, and the farm gets all the stuff. But I'm pretty sure that the player who's doing the work also gets like a personal level up oh. and i'm not sure exactly like how it works like there's benefits to actually cooperating with other people it's not just gimmicky oh good that's 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 really hardening to, to hear awesome all right can i yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna plonk down some corn why not do a little corn in the middle of the night <laughs> <laughs> you know, as you do. <laughs> you don't think about it too hard. No, I definitely shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run around and water behind you here. I, the watering is kind of. I don't even know. I I didn't used to water very much, but I've changed my mind because I know it makes stuff grow a lot faster, which can be really useful if you're growing something that takes like 24 hours to actually grow. And I know it improves the sellback prices of things like flowers, but I'm so lazy. Again, it's a whole other click, so I don't always do it. <laughs> when you're so, are there no like uh, worth it. so are there no like sprinklers or anything like that? Have you found yet? Or oh, there are. There actually are. Okay. Yeah, you can you buy them out of the if you hit Q and go to um. Gosh, where are they? Are they in the house mode? Buildings, I assume here. Let's they're in see. there somewhere. But a lot of the stuff is going to be locked because you just you haven't leveled. I, you got to level. Yeah, I, I am. I'm still. I am still baby. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll get there. It oh, actually yeah. doesn't take that long before you have a functioning, you know, a tractor and stuff. A, a couple of hours and you're pretty much set. Oh yeah. No, I'm. I'm not in any rush. This game. This is one of those games. Like, so I played a whole bunch of Farming Simulator 2022 or Farming Simulator 22, and 
that game, you can like stack up tasks and kind of get a lot of stuff done in one session, but at the same time, it's best if you do kind of like hang back and, and just take your time with it. So this, this is one of those games that definitely feels geared towards that. Just, just, just kick back and relax, honestly. Oh, there's a whole bunch of produce over here that's ready to be harvested. Many lettuces and carrots. So I suspect this is where the tractor would definitely come in handy with. This isn't exactly what I call a humongous tract of land, but doing it one by one, I appreciate would be a little tedious after a certain size. Totally. Yeah, I mean, that that's one of the reasons I wanted to flatten my land and why people, you know, are, are so anxious for that. Why they really wanted it so that they can put these gigantic, you know, just long strips of farmland so they can just push their button and just room and just automatically go all the way down. It, it can get crazy. <laughs> the, the automation from the first game, I mean, obviously the stuff isn't totally in yet, but I would go into people's, like, their maps, because of course this is a social game, a multiplayer game, people just leave their maps open and figure anybody can swing by and help out, right? And sure. I'd go check out their maps, and they would have, like, everything unlocked, and it would be, like, this serious business production, like, everything regimented off into, like, squares, and... Honestly, oh. I, like, it, it was definitely not a cozy game anymore. I don't know what it was, <laughs> but they had uncozied it. It was still really cute and all, but, like, they had turned it into, like, I don't know, a math job somehow. They and... <laughs> uncozied it. <Yeah. laughs> that sounds like the end, the end result of a game of Satisfactory. Like, I've seen people who have turned their factories in that game into just enormous sprawls that twist around each other and just it's kind of terrifying in a way actually so i could appreciate how this would get uncosified but then they they put out a, a patch today i think it was there where they brought rain back to the game and like among the patch notes was like this really lovely Farm, so like not everybody is uncozy fighting the game. There's there are some people who are trying to do cute things with it. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's it's both. And a lot of people will have more than one farm. You you don't have to just have one. You can make as many as you want. Like they're not making money off of it's there's no microtrans like that, you know what I mean? So right, it, right. It just they'll give you everything. That's one of the reasons I think they didn't put rain in originally is because in the original game, um, a lot of those effects had negative modifiers. Like if it was snowing, it would slow things down, and right? People didn't like that. So they were like, fine, we won't do it at all. People were like, no, we want the rain back because the rain actually had a positive thing because obviously this is a farming game, right? Yeah. Rain is a good rain thing. Rain is good in, in a farming game. In moderation, game. right? Yeah. So people wanted that back. Plus it, it helps with the ambiance. It helps with the, the cozy feel of the whole thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, I mean, the fact that the seasons change every 17 minutes is a little weird. I kind of, I don't know how I feel about that necessarily, but like, at the same time, like, just the vibes are very, very lovely. So, I, I can't hate it. I only yeah, say that I... because I really want to experience autumn for longer than just one cycle, you know what I mean? <laughs> No, I know exactly what you mean because autumn in this game is the, definitely the best. You did not, you did not pick wrong there. <laughs> I, I think this was their attempt to, to add some gamification in. Otherwise, okay. it really is just, you know, wandering around planting over and over again. Here, some things only can be can only be planted at certain times. They only the some of the flowers they take like three full seasons. Some of the trees only flat only have fruit in whatever season. Um, you know, so they were trying to make it so that you couldn't do everything all the time. You were, you're supposed right. to kind of try to plan a little, but also the 17 minutes is not punitive. Like, if you miss it, just wait another 17 minutes, you'll be fine, you know? Okay, okay. So they're trying, I, maybe they'll, like, find a balance there later. Who knows? But we'll see. I mean, as you did point out, and I'd like to point out too, this is still early access, so it's not totally done, technically. Um, you know, so... Things are always subject to change. But like, dude, this is so adorable. My goodness, I love it. Like immediately we both fell into our little routines. Like this is, I, I, I love that. <laughs> 
Yep. After a while, like, I, I see blank land and I kind of freak out a little bit because that's a money-making opportunity that I'm not taking and I need to fill it right away. I don't blame you. By all means, please. I've given full permission for you to do as much as you care to do. So please, by all means, I'll be right with you. I love the graphic style. I wish Minecraft looked like this. Oh, gosh, seriously. And, and like... I'm not dumping on Minecraft or anything like that. Like, it's it's popular for a reason. And, you know, its gameplay loop is perfectly fine. But, like, I... The boxy visual art style is not fully my cup of tea over time. So if Minecraft played like Minecraft but looked like this, I would be very, very happy. Yep, I think that's one of the things that I really like about it, Chris, is that it's actually pretty. It's not like farming doesn't exist in other games. There's five sure. million, right, social yeah. games like this out there with farming. And even MMORPGs, which is, you know, what we normally cover, a lot of them have farming. Everything from WoW to Star Wars Galaxies to Albion Online to Ultima Online, like, really, 27 years of farming in MMOs, but most of the time not meant to be fun like it's meant to be some sort of achievement grinding system and they don't want to make it too lucrative because right. it's part of a bigger system and here they're like we don't care go ahead and, and have fun level all you want get to level 250 and have a 500 bazillion dollar farm and then start over because that was there's no point like there's no you know what i mean you're not like competing yeah they're and they're not like trying to keep mau's high or something like that you know what i mean like that's so so this this sort of chilled out experience is much much more conducive to a a more involved farming experience. Then again, of course, I say that, and I would also be totally fine with doing something like this in a real MMORPG. Honestly, <laughs> if I was left alone to do like, and I actually we were talking about this in in uh, the office chat earlier. Like if if I was left alone in a sandbox to my own devices and I could like run caravans or do like trucking so to speak in an MMORPG I would be one very very happy camper I yeah always... don't, don't listen to the devs who say we don't want to be Uncle Owen because a lot of people really want to be Uncle Owen <laughs> really want to be, I 100% want to be Uncle Owen yes absolutely <laughs> oh we, we missed the fishies I just realized there are fishies? Harvesting the fishies. That was a nice oh. chunk of change. I genuinely had no idea that we had fishies. Goodness. And now, like, the weird pattern that we followed in order to plant this lettuce is, like, coming home to roost. Like, the, know, the plants sorry. needed to water is, like... <laughs> it's like made a couple of curly cues. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize we got all the trees already. Okay, so I was yeah. I was planting land lettuce randomly without looking at the quest. That's my bad. <laughs> it's fine. But it turns out we needed it anyway. We need lettuce. Well, we only need technically only need five more lettuce, but like at the same time, extra money, right? So you know, it's all good. There we go, already a couple of these heads of lettuce are ready to be harvested. So. Yes, this is indeed called massively over farming. Absolutely, Frito. <laughs> I'm waiting for the Farmageddon Kudzu Chaos DLC. <laughs> Gosh, somebody somewhere would probably like that. I'm actually kind of curious what they do for DLC because all the DLC for the first game were like like theme packs. Right. Like I said, they they put in like oh it's the Chinese theme pack and everything is gonna there's gonna be an outfit and a tractor and a house. Oh, did I mention there's housing in this game? You can build a house, Chris. Oh, sweet. <laughs> it's cute and you can decorate the inside and you can do things like cook and play the piano and paint. It's very Simsy, but it's That's cute. Great. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> <The> DLC... <laughs> sorry, <That's fine>. the DLC. <laughs> 
would have like a house and it would have a crop and it would have you know it was it, you know it was a couple bucks worth of DLC. We're not talking about gigantic patches here. Sure. But I kind of wonder, are they going to do that again? I mean, they need to flesh out all the cosmetics because that's why we came. But also, I kind of I feel like the response to some of these new mechanics, like the town and the way that auto auto harvesting from the tractor, some of those things are so well received. I'm like in heaven over here that I kind of want to see them do more like mechanics type patches that that sort of thing instead of just cosmetics. instead of cosmetics yeah that that makes sense actually i would i would think this game would be better served like leading into the mechanical stuff that people are digging on right now that makes perfect sense to me if i like add like new mechanics or new systems as opposed to just cosmetics and dlc that'd be great Yeah, I really think that would, that would help because I definitely got to the point in the first game where I felt like my farm was simultaneously too big to start over, but also too big to manage, and I wasn't really having that much fun anymore. Right. And so at that point, I was like, well, I don't even want to play my farm. I'd go to my kids' farms or I'd go to strangers' farms and just mess around, like put down unicorns and like, <laughs> the other <laughs> Seriously, because it, it's something that not everybody had. They had like... um seasonal events and things like that so if you did the quest during the seasonal event i know this is not an always online game but somehow they patched all this stuff in it was really cute but then you could like take those things to other people's farms and just give them away i know i went into my my son's farm the other day he, he's over here doing what we're doing like planting lettuce like newbie stuff and i gave him like a, a ferris wheel and like a um a chinese swings like a you know midway rides kind of things i wow. guess i had them in a dlc and it was letting me put them in his farm even though he didn't have the dlc i was like that is so great i, I that really nice love that touch. It, it does make it so like people don't feel like they're left out in that regard and also i do want to wonder how the person felt when they fired up the game walked into their farm and suddenly surprised unicorn Listen, if, if they didn't want Surprise Unicorn, they should have turned off that option for guests, right? <laughs> Genuinely, I would be delighted by Surprise Unicorn. Just just putting that out there. Hint, Same. Hint. <laughs> <laughs> but before you end the stream today, Chris, you should we should log out of your farm, and you should go around and look at some of the other people's farms. Oh, Pick somebody yeah. who's got, like, tons of experience or tons of money or has a bunch of other people already on the farm and go look at what people can do. It's going to blow your mind. Yes, I agree. We absolutely need to do that before the stream's done. But first things first, so much lettuce. Lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, I'm going to head back to my farm stall in a bit and get this all sold. So now it's fussing at me for some apples and carrots. That's the next tutorial fuss budget. I actually, like... And, and I'm sure that's, like, not the optimal way, quote-unquote, to go about it, but I would, like, love to, like, run an orchard, honestly. That's, like, one of the things I like doing in, like, some other farming games that I've played. And also, yeah, if I was, if I was allowed to, like, make my own cider, that'd be even better. <laughs> Does it have cider? I'm not sure. I think some of the production goods aren't in yet because it seemed like they were coming from quests from the town and I still haven't figured out a way. Like there's no item to make like jam and like honey and stuff like that yet. There was in the original game, so I'm guessing it's just not done yet. Okay. Yeah. That would be really cool. Like we could, you know, actually make wine. We we could actually the production stuff, you know, is I don't know, that's really appealing to me. You're you're not wrong. Yeah. Production stuff and like all managing those those logistical lines because there's okay so circling back to farm sim 22 for a moment there is a mod or a few mods well there's a whole lot of mods for that game actually but um one of the mods like one of the mod types are like whole maps so you can experience like a whole bunch of either like areas based on real world locations or like you know fantastical maps or just just whatever and some of the maps would actually apply completely wholesale brand new mechanics to the game and one of those maps had like you could like 
harvest a material like say sugar cane and then bring it to a factory in order to refine it to sugar and then truck that sugar over to another factory to refine it to like syrup or something like that and like the uh the all i loved the heck out of doing all of those truly like it was it was so good yeah, that definitely appeals to my lizard brain. They probably won't do it. Maybe I'll maybe they'll prove me wrong, but I'm not sure it's cozy enough for this game. You yeah. Know what I, mean? I don't know. They could probably cutify it, I think, honestly. It's, it's I would adore possible. it. I would love that. If they could turn that into something adorable, I would I would be down. Okay. So now it wants me to build a garage in the town. Whoops. Town. Okay. No, this is this is good stuff because once you've got your garage up, you get your tractors. Oh yes. Okay. Hang on. Of course, no don't garage. get too excited because your tractor has like zero like actual gasoline. Then you need the oil truck to actually uh, get your gas, no. and then it is a, a rat race to try to level up your your um your garage as fast as you can. That's like what I focused on first thing was to get as much capacity out of my gas <laughs> as possible. I'm so lazy, you guys. I mean, I like it that, that, you know, if you're just by yourself, if you're just one character, you never run out of anything. You just keep going. You can go forever, but it's a lot of clicking. So, tractor, baby. Yeah. All right, so... All right, well, I mean, at least I've made that step, so, you know. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, come over, come over to your big field so you can see, like, get on your tractor and then you can see it'll, like, why everything works in, in three by threes. Because oh, the, the tractor works in three so by threes. Oh, so it, like, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I get why that's such a big deal then. Goodness, that's, yeah, that's that makes a huge difference, especially for a field of this size. Yeah, that's great. I understand. I knew you'd love it. <laughs> that's great. I I also love how cute that is. Like I water by by tamping my tractor on the ground. Like, hey, <laughs> it's so cute. It's bizarre how satisfying that is. It, it shouldn't be, but it is. It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. The tractor is OP, indeed. <laughs> So I just need to hammer bunk and <laughs> we're good. Oh, okay. My character like vaults over the, my character vaults over the fence. I was like, I was again hitting spacebar thinking I needed to jump, but I don't need to jump. Hey, Darth, I'm how are you be, doing? I'll be honest, the fences in this game suck. They are my least favorite thing. Every time I open up a new map, I go around and I delete all of the fences, like with prejudice. They, they're terrible. Really? I don't know what they're supposed to do. Like, maybe they help if you're, like, trying to pen animals or something. Or maybe when the farmhands go in, they help keep the farmhands from wandering around and, like, doing the wrong thing. But, oh, they drive me crazy. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Yeah, that feels like it's probably meant to be, like, something to pen, pen the animals in. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh. You opened up zucchini. Yeah, I I just love the fact that you like immediately were like waiting with the truck, like bam, bam, bam. Okay, now you have zucchini. <laughs> that was awesome. I thought those were zucchini flowers that we were seeing earlier. Okay, so I'm super impressed that you could recognize the zucchini flower. I would never in a million years I be have, able to do that. I have actually made stuffed zucchini flowers before, like fried stuffed zucchini. I should have known. You're you're like Master Chef over there. <laughs> I really don't know about Master Chef, but uh, I, it's, it's one of those things that I saw and I needed to try one, at least one time. <laughs> if tractors were this cute in real life, no one would buy a car. Agreed. <laughs> Absolutely agreed. The tractor is the main reason to buy the car. That's why I wanted to get the tractor as fast as possible, because look at this. Look at this adorable little thing. So good. I love the colors of your tractor too, by the way. That's 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 wonderful. They're they're happy. That's why I go with those colors. <laughs> if you um if you put down a bunch more land, I will go around and plant 
Oh yeah, I'm, 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 I'm
Damn, wow. <laughs> I was not ready for that to be that large. Genuinely, what? All right. I'm honestly surprised. I'm gonna have to go see what he's talking about because I have no, I can't see what he's doing. <laughs> oh, you can? Okay, no, I can't. I had to go look at you on your actual stream instead of. Oh, that's weird. Because when you point to town, I don't see you unless I go to town, and then I can't tell exactly what you're up to. Oh, I was I, I was on the map. I, I I expanded the the farm. Oh, you did. I, I see did. now. Okay. Yeah. I did not know that that was going to expand that much. That's really kind of incredible. Dude, this, this is, this is, oh goodness, I'm doomed. <laughs> I'm absolutely doomed, dude. This is going to be my life now. <laughs> oh man, we need one more freaking apple tree and you'll have another, another pinky, another pinky badge, metal. Yes. Ribbon, whatever we want to call it. Whatever the heck those are called, yes. Oh, you have unlocked a ton of stuff too, Chris. If you hit Q, you can see like it'll tell you what's new. You've got another tree. You've got I've got flowers some flowers now. now. I can put down a, another well if I care to do that. I there's a guest book apparently. That's that's cute. That's super cute. There's that social aspect thing that you were mentioning before. That's that's adorable. Yep. Yeah, I saw people on Reddit actually bragging up how many people they'd had come by their, their place to sign it. I love that. That, oh, I haven't experienced people ex having guest book glee since the GeoCities days, dude. Like, that hasn't been a thing since the olden days of the internet. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. It, my only lament here is I wish this were even more multiplayer than it is. This is so much better than the old one, but still I wish it were more. Yeah, I appreciate that having more would be really, really nice. If it could expand the size of like how many people could get in one single map, that'd be wonderful. But then again, I don't know, would that like lose some of the coziness, do you think, if it would really allow that many people at once? Probably. It would ruin the whole thing and change all the design incentives. You're right, but still. <laughs> but still. <laughs> uh, there are people bringing back old websites with guest books and cute gifts. <laughs> like songs that nobody wanted to hear the moment you arrived to the website. You know, that sort of thing. Bringing it back, baby. <laughs> Web rings. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Web rings. Oh dear. Okay, so what should I do? You know, I'm gonna plonk down some potatoes here. There we go. I wanted to tell you if you haven't figured haven't noticed even yet because this was not obvious to me for quite a while in the first game if you hit m you can see what's actually harvestable like oh. it'll have like little dots so you know to go there and harvest it next and if it's orange and dotted that's that's something you need to focus on because that's something you need for a quest they'll oh. they'll flag anything you've got live for a quest i love that it's a really nice little feature that's so good okay so then so then the like I, that that map trees. you open has a gigantic apple tree farm right in the yep. middle of it, and none of them are freaking. Up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's so handy. I love that, dude. This is so, this is a wonderful mixture of like busy, chill, busy work and 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 quality of life. I dig the heck out of that. Gothic Richard 69. Nice. Thank you so very much for the follow. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you very much for visiting. We hope you enjoy your time with us and we look forward to having you back over with us once more. So I'm going to get rid of these simply because 
they're on a patch of land that has like a bunch of hills and they've served their purpose. It was this was all the plow five spots of land thing, so I can get rid of them. Repurpose this for something else entirely. To that point, let me see. I'm gonna put down this house real quick, cause pigs. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The only, the only downside I should warn you about is that it takes a long time. Like, it comes in stages. Like, my house isn't done. I started building it yesterday morning. It, it, like, every hour, you have to, like, feed it <laughs> feed it a bunch of resources, and then it takes, like, another hour, and then another hour. So it won't finish during the stream. Uh, well, that's fair. And also, I don't have the... Start. I, I don't have the diamonds for it quite yet, so... But it's fine. I'd, I'll, I'll take, travel to I'll town real quick and see how we're doing in terms of sales. When you, when you come back... <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. You're already thinking like a, like a Min Maxer. I already really am. <laughs> I've been I've already been diseased. <laughs> when you come back there in that that area you opened up, there's a field that is like completely open. I want you to come and play with the uh, like mass harvesting on your on your tractor. Okay. Yes, I will do so. Sure. You're, you're gonna just be blown away by. It. Do you have enough uh, fuel? I don't know. Where's the fuel oh. gauge on the tractor? I'll just, well, I'll, I'll come back to the map and check. It's, it's right up next to your head. You see okay. how your little head and your level, it's that little, the orange thing. Oh. It might be empty oh, on your okay. screen, I can't see. No, 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 it's, it's, it's still actually pretty full. Oh, you're full, okay. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm still quite full, actually. All right, so, so there Down you are, I hear you. Down in the southwest corner, yeah. Yeah. You hear me? Is the I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. What you do is just like get on like one section of it and click shift. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh no, that's so satisfying. Yeah. Oh okay, no. Okay, now when you come back, stop, stop a second. Don't come back yet. When you come back, click Q and pick out what you want to plant next. Okay. Like just, you know what I mean? Click on it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. And then do it again. It'll plant that and it'll water it for you. What? Okay, so at the edge where I see the okay, and then shift. Ah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I like the heck out of that. And it'll actually like keep on plowing if I wanted it to. Wow. Oh yeah, that's... no, it'll go until you run out. <laughs> wow. I was not ready for it to do all that. Goodness. Okay. Oh, that. Mm, that's very. That makes me very happy. <laughs> and you don't even need to hold shift. You just click it, and it just does the thing. Yep. <laughs> but like I said, it really drains your your oil tank like really fast. Yeah, that's nice. Anyway, here I go planting again. <laughs> it really does, though. But that's okay. Go ahead and fill up this corn just because. And I will get. I was about to ruin it by putting potatoes down, but you... <laughs> I won't do that to you, I promise. <laughs> I thought about it though. <laughs> well, I mean, I have. There should be some space for you to put down some potatoes somewhere else. I don't know why I chose corn, honestly. I just. That was just my, my first instinct. Yeah, it, I, I will say in the first game, like, there were a couple of things that you just always harvested. If it was summer, you would do, I don't know, wheat or not wheat, um, barley. And then the pumpkins were always good. Like, there was, like, an obvious choice for, like, maximum money making. But yeah. they've added so many new resources with this new game that I feel like there's actually a lot more reasons, like, and, and the way you feed the animals and the way you're turning things in to actually diversify, which I really like. It doesn't feel so much like, well, there's only four things you're ever gonna make against one, once you're high level. Now you're, there's a reason to make everything. That's great. Okay, so you are allowed a little more flexibility and creativity in what you choose. That's, that's good. That's very, yeah. very heartening to hear, honestly, because Cause that seems to be like that was some of the problem with Stardew Valley too. Is like there's you you can be generally pretty creative, but at the same time there was most assuredly the the quote unquote right way or fastest way or best way to do things. Does Spree have spreadsheets for this game? <laughs> asked somebody in the, asked Darth Ball. 
I I actually do not, but that's only because other people made them already, and I can just go <laughs> look it up there. It's already been But honestly, been I don't I don't really hardcore play this. Like I'm just playing. This is fun, you know. This if is I just want to hardcore cute. play. Yeah, there are MMOs for that. Yeah. <laughs> Houses are buildings that you can get into and customize their contents and looks. Built in a number of stages, each one taking some time and requiring a payment. Once built, you can enter the house. Okay, so. Oh, you put it down. I put it down. So I've at least gotten that process just started. And like she said, it's not going to happen at the by the end of this stream. But to that point, we need to visit other farms before we uh, before we close out. So. Uh, oh yeah, we should. We should do that. Let's um, just really quickly. Yeah, we'll 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 do that. So we just uh, exit out. I assume then, or. Yep, it'll save. Okay, sweet. All right. So, join farm. Harmony Hollow. <laughs> Leave me alone, farms. <laughs> I don't know why people do that. Why do they? Why do they leave their farms public if they don't actually want people on them? <laughs> so, I'm immediately going to visit Marco's Moo Moos um, because that sounds adorable. House of Rising Villages and Heroes. Yes, that's an extremely strong comparison to you. Yep, 100%. The Tiny Village, that was another one I saw. Yep, definitely gonna check that out. Wow! Okay, this person looks like... This person definitely looks like they have... Wow. This is... Oh, Wait, which is one, that a... which one did you pick? Uh, Marco's Moo Moo's. Wait, is this a... Okay, I'm thing? coming too. Yes, that was what I was hoping we'd get to, but I don't think we will, because we needed spring to tick over so the apple trees would regrow. We needed one more freaking apple, and then yeah. you would have enough metals for your uh, your oil tanker. Because, yeah. you know, that's what you want in your cozy farm, is a gigantic oil <laughs> rig. Hey, you know, like, farm implements are part of the experience. Uh, this person has... So much. Look at these flower fields, dude. Whoa. Oh my goodness. You got you got to hit M and show people what the overall map look like. This is what I'm talking about. These that's, people know what they're doing. That's insane. Yeah, this is very regimented. <laughs> but is... like, you know, this is a really efficient way to play because every time you have a quest, you have everything growing already. You just go to the place where you've already got the thing and harvest only that and then just farm quests like nothing like crazy, you know, and then just replenish. It's it's really clever if you just wanted to like win at the game. Yeah, this <laughs> is extremely. Not sure how pretty it is. This has been 100% uncozified, but I'm also kind of impressed at the same time. So. 100%. Uh, me too. I love it. I also like. So this is like a weird touch, but like the depth of field effect when a plant is close to your camera's field of view, I kind of love that. Like, that's that's kind of unnecessary and wonderful at the same time. I never play zoomed in. It never even occurred to me to look, but I see what you mean. Yeah, like, it's just one of those neat little visual touches that feels like an unnecessary but lovely extra mile at the same time. Also, don't forget to yoink some fuel. I mean, there's plenty of fuel trucks out here, so <laughs> fuel up. So how's the end game? Well, you're looking at it. That's what <laughs> that's what the end game looks like, Darth Maul. Ra raids and PvP. You're used to right? <laughs> PvP, plant versus plant, obviously. <laughs> this person has 32, 36 million gold. I have never felt so inadequate in my life. <laughs> <laughs> there are a level 118. They have over 36.5 million in gold. Uh, they have 800 diamonds and 826 ribbon medals. There must be a fight club hidden somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah I mean. Arabian Mystery Tulip. Whoa. <laughs> I do appreciate how you immediately set to work like, like this. This is... I kind of was testing because I wanted to see, like, if we could tell what we get out of helping... You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what do we get out of it? I'm sure it's a level up, but I'm not sure, like, what that translates into other than bragging rights. I don't know. Because I, I know, know we don't keep the flowers. We don't keep the stuff for the money. Right. 
Which makes sense. I mean, and it's if that was something that could happen, people would just be getting immediately rich off of one another, just constantly. This it'd be, it'd be literally like the, the the farm missions in City of Heroes. Oh my goodness, yes. That's how this would turn into. So you know. Yeah, when I'm when I'm harvesting these flowers, I'm definitely watching my personal level go up, but I don't know what that does. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if there's <laughs> anything attached to that at all. I don't know. If you have 118 of that level, it just feels like you can say, "Ha, I done I've been in this game that hard." <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and visit another one then. Hang on a second. I'm gonna exit on out of here. Okay. A diddly squat farm, just the gardens. Ah, uh, here we go. I wanted to see the tiny village. This is another like crazy high level, so to speak, player. So let's see. Let's visit the tiny village. I do this hope is, it is a tiny. Is village. So addictive. Just the just bouncing around from like dozens, hundreds of these things. Oh my god, it's a good one. Ooh. Remember to sign the gift when currently in pay. All right, fair enough. Okay, so let's quick check in the map. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look, look at the structure, dude. Oh my goodness. They have very specific orchards. They have... Is there, are those mushroom fields over on the top far left? Piggies. Mushrooms stand for piggies. Oh, those are pig pens. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait, honestly, until they add more animals. Normally, the animals re really annoy me, but they have promised rideable horses. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. For I know. That. I'm like, yep, I need that. I need that right now. What do I? What do we need that for? I don't know, but I know that I need it. Yeah, we we all know that we need and want it. Hello, Aladdin TV. Doing well so far. We are kind of wrapping up our quick jaunt in farm together too. But we had to stop around a bunch of people's farms, like just like goodness oh hey the farm owner is actually here doing their thing right now I, I can't figure out how to talk i know there was a chat in the original game but i don't know how to chat here it doesn't look like yeah let me check the uh, controls and make sure there isn't something missing let's see uh customize keyboard mouse here we go director open map camera gestures Text chat is Y, apparently, at least on default. Huh. You're right, thank you. Ah, look at that. And we both immediately had the same. Oh my god. Wow. Chris. Wow. You know we spend way too much time together because that was literally <laughs> the same thing. I can't believe we shared the same brain cell on that. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that 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 was the highlight of the stream i'm telling you right there <laughs> that was too spooky i agree darth paul tell me you guys got a screenshot of that i swear we're not bot smiles <laughs> This is so good. All right, one last visit to one last farm. I'm gonna look specifically look for a low level one, simply because like, not to like dump on the people who have like end gamed this game, but I, I'm hoping we can find something a little more aesthetic. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like some I think of the that's lower a really ones good. Are... Truffle butter. I, I know. I've seen a couple times in their their patches. They patch like freaking every day since this thing has come out. They're like a six-man dev team of doom because they just do not stop they don't sleep they just keep updating but i've seen that they're working on like systems to try to bump up some of the smaller farms to make sure everybody's getting attention and not just the same couple of farms yeah. over and over again. yeah yeah for sure all right so i'm kind of fixated on georgia eastern purely because the username's candy kisses forever which you know why not <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's see what this... Uh... Oh, there is a whole heckin' bunch of animals. This is an animal... This is... Wow. that That is a lot of chickens. That's a whole lot of chickens. Oh, the 
pigs are so good. Ooh, look at them pigos. Oh, I love them. Animal farm. Well, not that animal farm. <laughs> oh, look how chubby. I love these chubby, very serious face pigs. Like, you can, like, impose the look on that pigo's face over, like, your standard, like, DX Racer gaming chair user. Like, <laughs> it's so deadly serious. They are, they are, they have a look, that is for sure. And I tell you, mine always, whenever I come into my game, they're always lying down. And the first time, I was like, oh my god, they're dead. <laughs> they all looked dead. And then I was like, oh no, they're all sleeping at the same time, which is weird, but also spooky. And why, why are they doing this? That's not, I don't think this is how pigs work. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking making this. Pigs do that. don't sleep. That's just silly. <laughs> The, the original game did have goats. They had everything. They had like five different llamas and goats. Was, wait, was it goats? Maybe it was sheep. Hmm, maybe it wasn't goats. They definitely had sheep and llamas and mules and horses. Like just tons and tons of animals. They, they obviously like have a ton of like backfill here sure. to actually add all this stuff in. Right now it's like chickens and pigs. I'm not even sure. Are cows in yet? I'm not even sure cows are in. I think so. Because they milk is in. Or I would love to like have in. like rear like sheep and cows. Those would probably be the first this animals. This is so cute. Wanted. This is really cute, though. I genuinely love how th this person has so many animals going on right now. This is incredible. Gosh, this game is so wonderful. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm, for <laughs> I'm, that's it. I'm done, dude. I'm. This is probably going to be something I'll be doing off and on, frequently. Like losing hours into. <laughs> oh, this is gonna... interesting, Chris. I never did find this farm. I've gone through the list like three oh, times, really? like going back, and then I keep hitting reflect, refresh, and it's not on the list. I wonder That's if weird. like, it's, like if it's just rolling off, like if it's randomized. But once somebody comes, I don't know what they're doing. But it's not know. in my list. That's weird. Well, I'll be exiting out, and I'll follow your lead if you find one farm that. You no, no, I I was just I was actually fascinated because I didn't realize. That it worked that way. I thought they were all shown, but I guess maybe it's just like a random fifty hundred. I'm not that, sure. That that seems like it's the case. It just sort of like draws a random number. So one last look. There's a farm on my list now called Heartland, owned by Daisy. Very very low level, so to speak. So we'll see if they have actually done anything with themselves yet. I'm just kind of curious. It seems like this might be also a very first starter farm, but we'll find out. Yep, they literally just began. Okay. All right. Oh, but they have somebody else helping them out on the fields. Look at that. Uh, there we go. We got somebody. This is this is what it's about, man. Look at this. Watching this. They're literally doing the same thing we were doing just earlier. Using the big field to, like, plant and water all the cabbages. <laughs> I love it. I love the people leave their farms open and I love the people just wander around looking for friends. Like that there's something so very MMO-ish about this. Like the, the vibe of it, even though it's not really mechanically the same at all. It's not an RPG. Yes, 100%. It absolutely feels very MMO-like in, in terms of like people just coming together to help, help them make each other out. And like you were pointing out, it doesn't seem like this doing this sort of thing has any sort of immediate benefit to your character other than making that level number rise so like kind of like speaks to a very cozy pl uh, player base that just wants to come together and help out one another which I dig on that that's really really lovely look at this just watching them go anyway that seems like a good place to end it honestly um, this was super super fun thank you so much Bree for joining me genuinely I I am delighted that we got to do this together. Thank you for actually bringing me. I love playing this. I love I love that we actually got to talk about it and I got to bounce stuff off of somebody who actually gets it. <laughs> and isn't looking at me like, is this just going to be one of those weird Farmville clones? Because I'm not doing that. I, I thank you. <laughs> it's not. It's not that. It's so much better. It's so much better. This it's And it is kind of easy to look at it as a Farmville 
like and push it off that way, but it definitely doesn't play that way. Like this is, oh man, this is super cute and addictive. And I'm, I hope we get to do this again to, sometime. I really, really do. I'm in. Excellent. So uh, thank you so much to everybody for tuning in today as well. We hope you enjoyed this uh, cute and chill little time together. Uh, we are going to have a lot more streams the rest of the week like usual. Uh, later on tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, MJ and I are together for another episode of Backseat Streaming. Uh, we're going to be watching uh, some recorded footage of somebody's playthrough of some New World Endgame. On Thursday, May 16th, MJ and her crew are together with some Dungeons & Dragons online. And then on Friday, May 17th at 2 p.m. Eastern, I will be hopping into some Elder Scrolls Online. It looks like for the polls, I'm going to be continuing into South Elsewhere. So uh, we'll do a little bit of that. And then that same night at 8 p.m. Eastern, MJ is back with the usual Adventure Quest 3D stream. So we hope you'll tune in for all of that. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And as always, thank you to everybody for all of the support you provide to Massively Overpowered. Whether you're watching our streams live or on demand, reading what we have to write on the website, or if you're doing generous things like donating bits to the channel, subscribing to the channel, whitelisting the ads on the site, or if you're one of our amazing Patreon supporters. No matter what you do, top to bottom, you are the fuel that keeps Massively OP going. We'll see you later tonight. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye! Bye, everybody!